Indian classical music, one of the most ancient arts, is based on pure melody. Emotional experience is created through the fusion of certain recognized notes in each scale. And for this, a rich variety of instruments is used. In the Sangeet Ratnakar, a time-honored treatise on music and song, the many instruments have been classified into four groups. Tat, stringed instruments. Sushir, wind instruments. Avanad, drums. Ghan, percussion instruments. Our composers of old, who were extremely sensitive to musical patterns, found that tones and half tones were not enough to express their feelings. So they evolved quarter tones to bring to the scale a delicate richness. In the Western musical system, the scale is composed of 12 notes, seven basic and five half notes. But Indian music has a scale of 22 notes or shrutis. The seven basic notes of a scale are or in Indian notation, they are of the remaining 15, five are half notes and 10 quarter notes. We can recognize each melody or rag by its scale. In the kafi rag, this is the combination of notes. And this in the Tori rag. In both rags, this note is common. But in the kafi, it is a half note. In the Tori, a quarter note. The quarter notes can be played on string or wind instruments. Such tonal patterns can be translated visually by an electrical instrument, the oscillograph. Here's the half note. And now the quarter note. Watch closely. Notice the difference in size. The quarter note is more spread out. One of the oldest of the many stringed instruments of India is the bean, popular in North India. The bean has a hollow wooden base attached to two gourds, also hollow, to give resonance. There are seven strings, four for playing and three for rhythm. The cousin of the bean is South India's illustrious instrument, the veena. The veena also has seven strings, four for playing, passing over 24 frets on the bass, and three for rhythm. Sarangi is another famous popular instrument. Rich, vibrant tones are created by 35 sympathetic wires running under the three main strings. The sarangi is ideal for music mellow in mood. pressure is applied on the strings. Instead, the fingernails slide along the strings while playing. The 
Sarod, another melodious performer. Splendid for rhythmic music, the Sarod has a rich tonal quality. It also has sympathetic strings below the main ones. Among the most celebrated of all Indian instruments is the sitar. For producing resonance it has 20 sympathetic wires below the seven main strings. Frets are adjusted according to the rag or melody played. The sitar interprets the delicacy as well as the vigor of our music. Without drums, Indian music would be incomplete, for they create rhythm and symmetry. There are many varieties of drums, of which the tabla is one that's very popular. These then are the looms of sound on which our creative artists weave harmoniously the rich and timeless pattern of melody and rhythm that is the music of India.